Everybody, welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp, and that was Asaf Adonai playing. Mm -hmm. um, that is the original K Colonel Bogey March. Is the nice. name of that song? You were you were for a second there, like you you, you kind of tricked me this morning. You said you were playing under the boardwalk. I didn't play this, and then you started playing that, and that has. Um, and you're gonna be um, talking more about that song later. Yeah, you'll see where that song will tie into our guest. All right, so let's kick off the show with some weather. And let's see what's going on with our quick little weather forecast. And as you can see, it is 44 degrees outside, it's, and it's only going to get warmer. But of course, there's a 70% chance of showers tonight. Last night, it kind of got really windy. Not kind of. It pretty much got really fairly bad, especially towards the end of the night. But you can expect showers likely to happen today. Tonight, you can have a chance of thunderstorms. Thursday, 50% chance of showers. And then by Friday, Saturday, it should be a smaller chance, but you can still expect some showers happening over the week. So it's a nice middle of the week. We got some things to talk about. We have events, we have videos, we have um, new programs and this and that. But first, I wanna talk about where you can get involved with MCAT. And MCAT has our own website. It's called MCAT.org and you can log on, you can put your video on TV with w one easy step by putting your name, your email, your program title, and your video link on our page, and you can get whatever video you have made in the past, what you're going to make on MCAT. It's that easy, really simple. And of course, if, you're, if you want to get involved with MCAT, you can email us, mcat at mcat.org, or you can just call, at, call us, 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. It's a great resource for people to, who want to learn how to make their own video projects, be on television, um, maybe make their own cafe show where they pay music. Who knows? Ready, Steph? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm listening and yeah. doing some work. <laughs> All right. So um, to find out more about our morning show, Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash Wake up Missoula. It's that easy. We also have our Facebook page. We have our Twitter page. But of course, if you want to find out more about programming in general, you can go on to our Twitter page for MCAT at MCAT TV Missoula. But of course, you can also like MCAT on Facebook where I will be posting like new programs and here and there. But of course, I did the uh, Memorial Day celebrations and I uh, posted a nice little picture from Rose Memorial Park. It was a it was a nice little event, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, but of course, we have some brand new program, and I want to talk about today as well. Um, so the brand new program it consists of the um, Montana Supreme. It's the um, Montana Supreme Court session at University of Montana, 2015. Another one is the UN President Lecture Series, and of course, there's the community. Forum neighborhood bus tour. So the um, city of Missoula did a bus tour in Missoula. So here is a little taste of what you can see on MCAT tonight. A absolutely, Your Honor. The hotel retains absolute authority as to whether or not a room is even listed on the site. They retain the absolute authority uh, on uh, uh, to issue a reservation as a part of the OTC transaction. And, and more troubling for some users, they ultimately retain the responsibility and the right to decide whether or not to allow the user to, to exercise that reservation and take the room. Those are all governed by the hotel's policies, and those are decisions made by the hotels. They set the price. They determine how many rooms they're going to make available. They did, on, any given, on any given time, they can take those rooms up and put those rooms up, take them down as they want. So that, the availability and the amount, if you will, that they take advantage of the OTC services is entirely at the hotel's discretion. Goethe does not render Sophocles obsolete, nor does Descartes supersede Plato. Today, there just might be agreement that these four authors are worth studying. But why? Because they differ and the differences are still worth studying. That means there is room for doubt, as opposed to mathematical science that has no room for doubt. 
Non-science is not progressive. We cannot throw away old ideas. The Federalist and Tocqueville's Democracy in America are still the best books on American politics, though, of course, in need of intelligent updating. You're welcome, and thanks for everybody for coming along, and uh, I hope that you liked the food and it was good, and think about next year, we're going to visit the more southern uh, areas of town, unless we divide it into three, which was uh, suggested, so maybe we can uh, have a little more leisurely ride and not be so rushed, so thank you again. All right, and that's happening both on channel 189 and 190, and that's happening uh, tonight. And be sure to look for it. We have plenty of new programs, and you can actually watch our video on demand special thing. So um, if you go onto our website at mcat.org, you can easily go to. Let's see, boom. So if you go to schedules, and then you click on the schedule, you'll be able to see a little um, link. It says view, and then you're able to view the program. And of course, ASAF Cafe is also tomorrow mm -hmm. around 5.30. Yep. No, uh, we, we tape from 1 till 4 every day. I, I mean, like, oh, um, your, show. your show is on yeah, at 5. Yeah, it's uh, 5 o'clock tomorrow. Yep. And then 8.30 Friday, it repeats. Yeah. Just like that. And of course, um, we're, we have some crazy events happening today. And then right, um, and right in between the events, we're going to be talking about um, musical notes with ASAP. So let's kick off with some um, what's happening this morning. And I think this event is very interesting for entrepreneurs, people who want to sell something. It's I guess it's kind of like a, a Missoula um, Shark Tank in a way. So the idea is it's called One Million Cups Missoula and it's at Montec and it happens from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And the description is pretty simple. It's, um, it's a simple way to engage entrepreneurs in communities around the world. Each week, the One Million Cups Missoula offer two local entrepreneurs an, opportun an opportunity to present their startups and to a diverse audience of mentors, advisors, and entrepreneurs. Presenters prepare a six minute educational presentation to engage in 20 minutes of feedback and questions after their presentation. And I think this is a great way to network and talk to people and work, you know, with bringing small businesses and combining all sorts of great things with that. Uh, of course, um, if you're more family oriented, you can go to the Family Fun Time at 9.30 a.m. at Mizno, Mismo Gymnastics and the Family Fun Time, now even longer times on Monday through Friday. Spend the time bonding, playing, and just having fun with your little ones. Mismo's Family Fun Time is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years. Um, we, they offer a supervised and safe environment full of obstacle courses, trampolines, foam pits, and offer plenty of times throughout the week. And, you know, it's it's great fun. Kids can fall down and not get hurt because everything is soft. It's Mismo Gymnastics is basically like a, a, a kingdom of child-proofing, the best way to describe it. And, of course, for members, it's $5, and for non-members, it's $8. And, of course, at um, 11 a.m., there's the preschool play group at Bitterroot Gymnastics and that's walking to five years and the class length is about an hour long the price is eight dollars for drop-in twelve dollars twelve dollars for siblings but you basically save money for per kid so I guess it encourages people to have more kids so they can save money on this uh, <laughs> preschool play group is the favorite for kids and parents alike for um, play groups or the gym um, is the playground they set up fun station activities throughout the gym. Parents and children choose the activities that interest them the most. Obstacle courses, spit games, trampoline time, swinging, sliding, climbing, playing on inflatable um, bouncy castle type things. Of course, and then there's blowing in the wind, plastic brains. And of course, you get to, the kids get to learn about brains and stuff at Spectrum Human Discovery Area. And it's basically on uh, just off Front Street Right, right in the right behind the Elks Lodge, and it's three dollars and fifty cents for anyone four and over. If you're under three, you get in free. And then the library. This is all what's happening at the library today. And there's the uh, intermediate word, and it's starting at 12:30 p.m. at the Missoula Public Library. And it's learned some advanced features of Microsoft Word 2010. It's 2015, but you need to learn 2010 so you can learn 2000 later on whatever i don't know when was the latest um microsoft word because <laughs> it seems as though they they come up with a new one every single year and i thought it was every two years it's every two years i could be wrong that's what i thought hmm. well you, you know more than me because i haven't used microsoft word in forever ever since google had docs 
but of course, um, a word processing program that you can use to create documents. Participants should be familiar with Word or have taken basic class required. So yeah, um, you can call them at 721-6225 um, or I think it's called 721-BOOK. Um, Pretty simple. And of course, set, um, 3.30 to 5 p.m. There's the middle school writers group for grades 6 through ninth grade. So it's just to improve um, some writing skills for some of the kids going from grade school into high school. It's yeah, it's a great um, opportunity for them just to get better at writing and storytelling. And of course, 6 p.m. there's the internet searching class. So let's say um, you're not that internet savvy and you're interested in learning how to um, search the internet. So an introduction to the internet including getting connected, using a web browser, and navigating web pages. Learn how to find information online using search engines and subject directories. And basic internet safety registration um, required. But so it's starting at 6 p.m. at the library. But of course we're going back to um, some of the stuff that are happening at a couple um, breweries, tap rooms, you name it. Um, at 4.30 p.m., Sharing the Groove is um, celebrating the music of Fish, that's P-H, Fish, and um, there's a difference. At the, and that's happening at the Top Out Lounge, and every Wednesday, Sharing the Groove, they have um, drink specials, and they just play recorded music from Fish f during the happy hour special. And, and it happens for three, four hours. And of course, there's the Ket community Unite at the Ketter House Northside Tap Room. So that's the Northside Tap Room, it's basically, um, just off of Higgins, um, near 4th Street. You, you can't miss it, it's it's pretty much in that journal area. Um, there's the Community Unite Wednesday at 1st Street Keto House Tap Room. Come join us and, come join them, us, and support your local community. For every pint sold, they'll donate 50 cents to the organi organization of the night. And then there's Yoga for Chronic Pain, 5 p.m. at the Learning Center at the Red Willer. And then 5 p.m., there's the Stay Strong Nepal. So if you guys don't already know, Nepal had a devastating earthquake. There was a couple aftershocks, and there was another earthquake that happened as well. So um, in Kathmandu, the valley is still reeling from the effects and aftershocks of the April 25th earthquake that has taken the lives of 10,000 people and destroyed hundreds of thousands of homes and buildings. And then... Um, Adara Development is an organization that has worked with Nepal for over 17 years, is coordinating with the government and running mobile medical camps to address relief. Please help support Nepal Recovery by coming out and having a beer at your local brewery. So yep, Baron Brewery, 5 p.m., is hosting an event to support Nepal in this, um, in this terrible time. <laughs> of course, um, um, then there's meditation for veterans. So the Learning Center at Red Willow is doing a meditation for uh, for veterans at 5.30 p.m. tonight. And as part of the Heroes uh, Therapeutic Outreach Program, the Learning Center at Red Willow is partnerships with the American Legion is pleased to offer a free uh, meditation course for veterans, their families, and caregivers. Whether the type of meditation is mindful, zen, or transcend, um, trans Sentinel. Ugh, that's a big word. <laughs> I'm going to skip it. All right, so meditation has been shown to help um, with stress, including symptoms that come with PTSD. And of course, um, Memorial Day was Monday, um, and I shot a couple things with Memorial Day, which include um, the 11 ceremonies. Yes, Missoula does 11 ceremonies. And if you didn't watch Missoula Live um, on the 18th, it's been repeated on MCAT, Channel 190, and it's Missoula Live. And Susan Kohler, oh no, not Susan Kohler, Susan uh, Renault, Susan Campbell Renault, she's the one that coordinated this event. And she put on 11 ceremonies throughout the city of Missoula at the Veterans Memorial, um, the Korean Memorial, the um, Vietnam Memorial, all these uh, memorials for the sake of um, veterans in the Missoula area and the nation as well. And it, um, I guess it's the most because there's 11 different ceremonies happening throughout the whole entire day. I got about like five or six of them and you'll be able to, and, and it was, and it premiered on MCAT and it should be um, playing on MCAT as well throughout the, throughout the night. But of course I'm moving on to the next state for the next um, event that's happening tonight at 6 p.m. Zoo Town Arts Community Center, otherwise known as the Zach, is having a Bob Ross night. So if you don't know who Bob Ross was, then you don't really know, it, then you're not really 
children, a kid of the 90s or 80s for that matter. So bring your own Bob Ross wigs, impressions, and appreciation, appreciation for the monthly Bob Ross night. Participants will be inspired to paint happy little trees as we watch Bob Ross videos and follow along while drinking wine and having fun in the gallery. Cost covers all your materials, supplies, and canvases. Okay, and then of course, the big um, thing I kind of want to talk about is Andy Warhol is going to be playing of Blank City at 7 p.m. Of course, if you don't know who Andy Warhol was, he was a big um, artist in the 60s, 70s, and just had a big impact with the um, counterculture genre of art. And he's premiering his 16 millimeter film. I mean, we're, um, the Roxy Theater is showing <laughs> their, it's like premiering, it, mm -hmm. it's exactly like, like it's came out like just now but um roxy theater is going to be showing blank city uh which is um War warhol worked across a wide range of media painting photography drawing and sculpture in addition he was highly prolific prolific filmmaker between 1963 and 1968 he made more than 60 films can you imagine doing 60 films in five years quite a bit of work yeah 60 films in five years that kind of um boggles down to about 12 that's like 12 films a year. I guess that's basically a film a month. So that can be totally done. Plus some um, 500 short black and white screen test portraits of factory visitors Wednesday in May. Um, join the Missoula Art Museum at the Roxy Theater for um, retrospective of a few gems from Andy Warhol's exper experimental film, Caché. The series culminates, um, culminates <laughs> with a documentary in the late 70s art and music scene in New York. And that's all that's happening at 7 p.m. tonight at the Roxy Theater. So if you're interested in some history and some Andy Warhol um, artsy video, go to it tonight at 7 p.m. And these are your events that are basically happening tonight at your local breweries, bars, and shows. At 7 p.m. at the Top Hat Jazz Night is Trio Noir, Brains on Broadway Trivia at the Broadway Inn, just off Broadway. Uh, <laughs> Country Dance Lessons with instructor Kathy Clark at 7 p.m. at the Sunrise Saloon. Mm. I'm spitting like crazy, but that's like $5 for the lesson. Um, that's happening at the Sunrise Saloon. Uh, how, let's see, Zootown Arts Community Center Underground. They're having bands that starting at 8 p.m. Howardian, Degreaser, Total Combined Weight, and Middle Skip. These are bands. And uh, Milk Crate Wednesday is happening at the Palace. It's the DJ music stuff. They have pool, all that stuff happening at the um, Palace. And Open Jam Night at Monks at 9 p.m. They provide the drums and the amps. So if you have a band and you need a drummer or you don't have drums of your own and you don't or you ha have drums at home so you just don't want to log them over there. They have the drums there and I think this is really cool. If you are a musician, you just bring your instrument, plug it in and play. Okay, and that completes um Wednesday events. So we have um ASAF. Mm -hmm. You have your own uh events happening. Well, you as know, well. yesterday I was... mean, not events, more of a um a story on a certain person. Yeah, uh, you know, yesterday was Memorial Day, so um, Yesterday. I'm sorry. Um we recently had it. But speaking of Memorial Day, this sort of ties into this song that I want to mention real quick which is a song called Colonel Bogey March, which was written in 1914 by Lieutenant F.J. Ricketts. He was a British Army bandmaster. Now this song ties into our guest today, Dudley Stewart John Moore, known to the world as Dudley Moore. <laughs> and Dudley Moore was an English actor, comedian, musician, and composer. He came to prominence in the UK uh, in the early 60s and of course he'll probably best be remem remembered for a film called Arthur and the movie 10 with Bo Derek. So if you got that um, piano clip, let's hear him real quick. Alright. He is doing his parody of Colonel Bogey's March. <laughs>
mixing that um, that Colonel Bogey march with Beethoven's music, and that's one of the things he was not as known for as far as he was more known as an actor, but he was a professional pianist and he was known for doing these comic routines, not only with this song, but other songs. He would mix the music of Beethoven with other songs that were popular, like this Colonel Bogey march. And finally, to tell you a little bit about him, he was a choir boy at the age of six. At the age of 11, he earned a scholarship at the Gill Hall School of Music, where he took up harpsichord, organ, violin, music theory, and composition. And then he developed his skills as a pianist growing up, playing a pipe organ at the local church at the age of 14. And finally, um, he received more musical instruction from uh, Peter Cook who went on to become his teacher and confidant. And when he grows up, he goes on to stun the world, not only with his piano playing, but of course with the two movies I mentioned, Ten and um, Arthur. So that's my little tribute to Dudley Moore this morning. Well, thanks, Asaf. That's yeah. really cool. Um, I always have some trivia about Dudley as well. It's just like, um, during the filming of Arthur, mm -hmm. the, like, the director would abuse him with alcohol. That was one of the things to get him to actually. Um, that was one of his mo the most well known performances was for Arthur. And mm -hmm. what the director does is actually give him alcohol. Oh, I and, see. And that. have him be drunk in all those scenes, <laughs> which I think it's. I think it's. It's. Uh, you know, some people can kind of go fairly far when it comes to, um, you know, like directing movies and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. it was one of those things that I always found interesting about it is that um, they got him really drunk for yeah I don't know if it, me personally I probably wouldn't have gone that far but uh, you know people do things for the in the name of their craft and their yeah profession and stuff but it's unfortunately that we lost him too early yeah well actually 66 that's relatively early but uh, he he passed from a disease called progressive supranuclear palsy hmm it's some sort of a muscle thing. And you know what was sad is when this affliction came on Dudley Moore at, in his career, the critics were so blasting this guy because everybody thought he was drunk. But he really wasn't. It was the muscle thing that was a, attacking him as he was doing his performances. Wow. And when they discovered it, he eventually retired from playing the piano. I bet they had, they had the egg on their face when they yeah. discovered that. Yeah. It's it was, awful. But see, in his case, it came on him so quickly. And yeah, so, I mean, I mean um, was it kind of like, it was like Parkinson's? Something like that, and it was, it was affecting his playing, you know, where it looked like he was always drunk when he really wasn't. Wow. He could still play at the time, and he eventually made the decision to stop and seek treatment. And, uh, All right, so um, let's start off with what's happening tomorrow, and these are some of the events that are happening for Thursday, and it'll be fairly short. I kept it pretty short for Thursday's events. Um, we'll start off the Thursday morning with the um, NAMI um, Missoula Weekly Meeting at 10 a.m. Providence Center. It is for the um, um, National Association of Mental Illness, and the, you know it helps people um, with mental illnesses, and it helps people take care for those with mental illnesses. And I think it's a great resource for um, those community members. Um, preschool play group at 10 a.m. is the Bitterroot Gymnastics, and that's aged um, walking to five years. Um, the class strength is about an hour, and then the price of drop-in is $8, and then $12 for siblings, and that's at the bit of gymnastics. And of course, fam family fun time, again, at, is at Mismo Gymnastics at 11 a.m., so you get a choice between Bitterroot and Mismo. And of course, um, they have $5 for members and $8 for non-members, and it is from eight, walking to 12 years of age. Um, the library, these are some of the events that are happening just at the library. Starting at 10 a.m., Tiny Tales. They could do finger plays, um, just read some old stories, and it's great for nice young kids. It's usually on the dragon rug, unless it's otherwise specified. Read dogs, and it's for reading assistant dogs. Um, you read to dogs, and yeah, it, you're just reading to dogs, and it's supposed to um, help them as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Lego Club is happening at 3.30 p.m. T um, tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, if you love Legos, come down and play. Uh, a kid under the age of like 12 should be accompanied by an adult. Um, then of course, here are some of the wine tastings that are happening tomorrow night. And that 4 p.m., 
Thursday night, Ten Spoon up the Rattlesnake. At 4 p.m., La Grata Bella. And I think it, I think La Grata Bella airs in the basement of the Old Post. I'm pretty sure it is. And that's at 5 p.m. And then there's Treasure State Toastmasters and Learn to Speak Well at 6 p.m., Community Medical Center. That's happening 6 p.m. tomorrow night. And then again, happen at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, is Plain Monopoly with God and Other True Stories. And that's happening at 6 p.m. at the Crystal Theater tomorrow night on September 2012, a 40-year-old Melissa Bangs gave birth to her beautiful daughter, Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> a month later, dramatically um, hormone-depleted and sleep-deprived, Melissa is admitted to the Providence Psychiatric Facilities in a complete manic state. Wow. Wow. After nearly a month, she is sent home with a bipolar di diagnosis and on lithium. What comes next is an... an extraordinary journey back to wholeness back to love and of course that's and it's kind of like a, a one woman show and that's happening a at 6 p.m. the crystal theater um, tomorrow night I think that's it's really good and some people um, struggle with this kind of stuff it's especially um, um, post um, what's the word I'm post traumatic you talking no about? not post traumatic it's usually like once um, post um, like when they have a baby Oh, okay, yeah, I, I can't think of the Post term. Postnatal, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that, and um, it really throws off, you off balance. Some people, um, some women, are like pregnancy, really messes with their body. It's it's all the hormones. I think it'll affect the relationship as far as marriage too. When a lady goes through something like that, yeah, and of course you get to hear all about it happening at six p.m. tomorrow night at the Crystal Theater. And here are some of the quick little events that are happening as well. There's the Carolyn Keys and Jeff Truman at Draft Works Brewery at 6 p.m. happening tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 6:30 until whenever Camp Days starts, and it's um, we had um, Foster on here, and he was talking about Camp Days happening at the Zoo Town Arts Community Center. But also, it's happening all over Missoula, and it's the Camp Days as in D A Z E, and they'll be doing all sorts of bands, all all around the United States. They brought them in and they're happening all tomorrow night, 6.30, and it happens throughout the weekend. So I suggest you go check it out. And of course, um, at 7 p.m. there's Michael Hodges, The Polar, and they're doing um, Shakespeare and Company at 7 p.m. So they're gonna be reading from The Polar, um, Michael Hodges. And then there's country dance lessons with instructor Kathy Clark again at 7 p.m. at the Sunrise Saloon. Another again is five dollars per lesson. So if you want to learn, get do the hoedown. It's happening at 7 p.m. at the Sunrise Saloon tonight and tomorrow night. So you can't miss it. Um, trampoline drop in at 7:30 p.m. Jupiter Gymnastics. And I think this is really cool because it lets people like me, like ASAP, do flips and stuff and just jump into a foam pit. <laughs> you want to just go jump into a foam pit, ASAP? Uh-uh. Okay. We'll do that later. Uh, then there's the Big Brains Trivia happening tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Um, at Holiday Inn downtown at the park. And then uh, Gail and the Spills with Local Yoko is happening at Top Hat at 9.30 p.m. tomorrow night. And it's a free show. And from what I hear, Gail and the Spills is breaking up. It'll be one of the last um, concerts of Gail and the Spills. So if you know who Gail and the Spills are... Um, then you you know then they're breaking up and of course local yoko we have a video of local yoko that i'm going to show you right now here's a little taste of because they were on our latest living room session so here's a little taste of local yoko playing singing valerie
And of course, um, local yokel is playing at the Top Hat tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. It's a free show with Gil and the Spills. It's Gil and the Spills' last show, so you go, should show, go check it out. It's free! You know, it's not going to cost you anything. And, <laughs> and of course, that concludes um, our Wake Up Missoula. But of course, you can find out more information by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You should like us on our Facebook, Facebook page, Wake Up Missoula. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow MCAT and find out more about our channel by following MCAT at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on our Facebook page. And also, if to find out more information about MCAT in general, you can log on to MCAT.org. So, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And I am ASAF Adonai. Take it away.